my dear sisters and brothers where is our hope whenever thoughts of hopelessness overwhelm us we look down into every problem everything wrong going around us and we ask the question where is our hope our hope is not down below our hope comes from on high when i am lifted up jesus said and you look to me i will draw all men and women to myself now this is a word jesus says three times in the gospel of john when i am lifted up i will draw all men and women to myself i am the hope I will be lifted up as the hope. Look up to me and you will be saved. You know my dear sisters and brothers Moses compares himself to the serpent lifted up in the desert. and we read about that in the book of numbers chapter 21 god asked moses lift up a bronze serpent everyone who looks at it will be saved the context was this the people were on their way from egypt the land of slavery to the promised land of freedom and salvation but this was a stiff necked people as god said about them every now and then they knew the mighty power of god they were told they were chosen in a very special way and god intervened with a mighty arm delivering them from the powers of egypt god cut open the sea to find a way for them in the midst of waters when they were hungry they were given manna in the desert when they were thirsty the rocks were burst open for water to gush forth at night they were led by a pillar of fire day time when the sun was too hot they were overshadowed by a cloud God protected them God provided for every need of theirs and yet they rebelled against God and that rebellion brought in disaster not that God was punishing them but they turned away from God if you turn away from light where are you you're in darkness and they were in darkness of despair they began to murmur they began to rebel eating manna they said we are tired disgusted with this wretched food they began to long for the flesh pots of slavery in egypt a stiff-necked people and 
some leaders leaders always come up in rebellion some leaders led the people away in rebellion against Moses and Aaron because of the terrible sin there was the consequence sin always has a consequence by nature sin is disaster sin brings in ruin and all the ruin all the boredom all the destruction in our life in our family is due to the sin in us the serpents in hor the sort of hor from hor they were going by the side of the dead sea to the promised land a sort sprang up serpents biting them then moses began to plead with god oh god your people have mercy on them and god said lift up a bronze serpent everyone who looks at it should remember the power of my salvation and they will be healed and saved it's exactly what happened now quoting this event jesus is saying three times the son of man will be lifted up to draw everyone to myself and those who believe in me will be saved the only way of salvation is to turn to him lifted up now bible scholars tell us something very special jesus changed a little the old testament verse In the Old Testament book of Numbers chapter 21 what Moses was asked to do was to mount a serpent on a pole and Jesus replaced that word mount by the word raised up lifted up what's the difference raised up in the midst of the people lifted up in glory raising up lifting up is always in glory the cross of jesus according to the gospel of john is the source of glory son of man lifted up for what that we may look at him that we may not perish that's why jesus said god so loved the world we shall know this God has taken the ultimate sacrifice of giving his own son when you see the cross we shall know this this is a sacrifice of love the ultimate sacrifice of the love and care of the father the father lifted up jesus that the so believe in him might not be lost This is our hope. In whatever situation we are, whatever is going wrong around us and with us, in our family, we look to Him. We raise our eyes to Him. We do not look down on the problems. Moses looked down at the seashore and saw the waves raging. Simon Peter looked down and saw the waves coming to destroy him and that's when Jesus called him Moses Simon look up they looked up to God and when they looked up to God they were saved and today the invitation we know we are sinful a family is sinful 
there's much sin and rebellion in our hearts in our family in the world around us but what we need to look at is not down at the destruction what we need to do is to look up in hope in faith to so believe in him look up to him in faith as psalm 34 tells us look up to him your faces will be radiant 